Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1855, where we have 27 moves to clear out 25 licorice and then collect 200 purple and orange candies. It's a bit of a project here. I say clear these out first because we're not going to be able to have much done until we can get the licorice cleared out. But that was a nice start to our project. I can make a special here, but I think I'm better off doing this and clearing out the rest of that licorice. We'll see that our ability to create uh, specials and cascades gets magnified when we clear things out first. All right, now... I don't have any great moves to make on the board sometimes uh, and so what I want to do then is concentrate the colors down by removing colors that aren't very plentiful. In this case I think it happens to be orange. So if I take out orange will that create nice cascades for me? Kind of it did. And now I have this opportunity to make a striped wrapped combo and that's going to take out a swath of 3x3. Three three. So without focusing on my target colors what I'm doing is um, creating enough chaos on the board that automatically things happen for us. I'm going to make this, which is going to cascade with the red. I'm thinking about doing this, but I'm going to do this. I see the cascades immediately giving us opportunities. And now I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn all of those reds into stripes, and that really clears things out. Okay, so what can I do to keep clearing things away? Well, I don't have as much red on the board now as I did a bit ago. So if I don't have any better moves, I might try to take out red. And that should allow us some cascades. I see this, but I'm going to go for the cascading. Mm, well, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. And the turn of the conveyor belt gives us a second opportunity for cascades. There we go. Now this is pretty good because oftentimes when we get to move 15, we've got a 10 to 1 ratio where I still have 150 of each of these to remove. Uh, and that's never a good sign when we get that low um, in numbers of moves and still that high. So this is looking pretty good for us. I want to continue this trend. I'm going to see, do I have the most red or purple on the board? I think it's red. So I'm going to take out the color that's the most prevalent, even though this is my target. So let's see, red, I have approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Purple is 1, 2, 3, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so it's red. So I remove red. That strips out a color and concentrates everything down. Gives me hopefully a better chance for more cascading. That didn't feel like a better chance for more cascading. There we go. There's a good cascade. And we want to stay ahead of that 10 to 1 ratio. That's what we need to do. Oh, no cascading on that. Well, let's blow things up. Oh, I should have made that color bomb. I should watch a little more carefully. I've got a pretty good board. I don't want to mess it up by making stupid moves. This is going to remove a color. It's automatically going to remove the most prevalent color on the board. So that's keeping us at a great ratio. We're going to try to blow things up. And that'll keep us collecting the colors. See, what it does is it just cycles through everything. So we're not focusing on the target. We're focusing on just cycling through the board. I don't have a lot of green on this board. If I can remove green, oh, look at this. Stripe dropped combo. There we go. Alright, so now I think I will take out orange. That makes sense. I'm so um, far down as to what I need. And I don't have a lot of moves left, but I'm pretty sure I have enough to collect the ones I still need. Here we go. I hope I do. It would be awful if I didn't. There we go. 
All right, so that's how I beat this level, but I tell you what, this was my ninth playthrough. I did not think this was particularly easy, even though I think I have a, stra a sound strategy. Um, and I tried a few different strategies just to see if I was missing something. But, you know, I always got the closest with this strategy. It just takes a while to clear all that out. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.